What's up, y'all? I'm going to take a next step to another challenge. So I'm going to be doing an anti-Mishima. And the first one is going to be Kazuya. Kazuya is probably the most easiest Mishima to do. But I think he's second easiest. But, uh... <clears throat> Uh, I think, yeah, he, he's probably the second easiest. And Kazuya doesn't have a lot of, you know, moves on his move list, so it won't really take long to do. Probably be about an hour. Probably less. Probably a little more. Well, we'll see how this goes. But the first thing I want to talk about is, you know, how Kazuya, you know, the fight style Kazuya plays. Now, Kazuya play a mix-up style, you know. Um, Kazuya is not really an offensive character. He basically a defensive character like Zafina. But keep in mind, when you're at this matchup against Kazuya, uh, he's a much better defensive character than Zafina. Kazuya has a knockdown that I think this is... 10 frames, at, at 10 frames he get a knockdown, 11 frames he gets a wall splat, uh, I think at 11, no I think that's 12, let me look at, let me see, and at 13 he can launch, now despite the fact that you won't be able to get this off at perfect 13, but Somehow it makes a, a 14 frame launcher a lot easier. So if you don't know how to uh, do the mission moves at perfect 14, Kazuya is most likely going to be easier to do a good 14 frame launch punisher. <clears throat> but the fact that uh, the other mission was like Devil Jin and Heihachi, they have a uh, better range with their electric. Kazuya, on the other hand, was said that he didn't, he doesn't have that range. Uh, let's see. Another thing. Oh yeah, let me look at that frame. And then some bullshit won't even let me exit out. Back, is it back too? And the damn video is still playing. No, that's not it. It's back one. Uh, My bad, it is 11 frames. Back one is 11 frames. Uh, okay. So, now you know what you're up against. A character with a better defensive plan. <clears throat> so, let's talk about... Uh, some things you're going to want to be on the lookout for. One thing is the wave dash. Uh, I can't do it, but there are some crazy mix-ups, especially the grab, this grab right here. Well, that's not what I'm trying to do. So, they, they can really disguise this move out of the wave dash. I think I got some of it, but if I can wave that, I can really uh, get this move out. But this Hell's Gate is uh, one thing you're going to look out for out of the uh, wave dash. Did I just do that? <laughs> okay. Uh, another thing out of the uh, wave dash, it's probably the best move in the game is most likely this. Simply because it's 13 frames and it launches tag bufferable, it tracks, and another thing is that it doesn't have to be electric to track. You can just do this and it tracks. I think I tried to sidestep that a lot and still get hit. Uh, 
another thing is this. Uh, the, they'll wave dash into this. And this low right here. Mm, I think that's about all the uh, attacks they would really use out of the wave dash. Um, okay, another thing to be looking out for is this. So, I don't, it looks natural, yeah, it, it looks natural. Uh, it's a mid-high, and usually they don't finish it. But if they do finish it, this is what it looks like. It, it's delayable. No, it's not delayable. It's not even hit confirmable. Okay, so... I wonder could Zafina stop that punch if she wanted to. Okay, tracks to his left. I can't even get her to sidestep left. trying to get it to punish. <laughs> okay, she won't be able to. Okay, uh, another thing they, they won't nine times out of ten they won't finish it but what they will do they're gonna do this and start uh, poking so if you block this you might want to hop kick right away because because we know that uh, this move here is gonna open doors for this type of mix up I think I did that punch too slow. There we go. Mm. Okay, it's linear. Okay, another key move is... Did I talk about the electric? Okay. Let me, let me give you some notes on this move because this move... This move is going to be like what Kazuya is going to be back waiting for. So if you will with the Phoenix. This is going to be his go-to option. So, this move, this, I did mention that it tracks 
But what I did mention that uh, I did mention that attack, bro. But this move. I forgot what I was about to say. Okay, so if you block this move, um, you're going to be pushed back. Let me get him to guard. Okay, so it's going to give him a pushback. But at the same time, he's at frame advantage. Uh, I think it's, it's plus four or five. Uh, I think it's five. So, uh, uh, there we go. So, up against the wall, he can frame trap you to death. Uh, um, mm. Even I'm having a hard time doing heal. So, cause your next option is a dash electric. And I've been practicing some dash electric, and the only one I could really get that down with is Devil Gen. Devil Gen is probably the easiest to do a dash electric with. Uh, so, unless they know how to do that then you probably be okay. So that's what's going to separate a good cause from a great cause. If they're able to, uh, you know, dash and electric you. No, I, I can't even do it. <laughs> I can't even dash with it. Hold up. forget it so notice not to really attack afterwards because this, this move is guaranteed another this on hit if you try to retaliate only if they know how to dash electric but if you're up against the wall it really doesn't matter uh, another move is this this move is just like this right here Put them at a uh, crouch and most likely he's going to do this afterwards or this. This is probably safer out of uh, the two or probably just this. Okay, another one is this right here. Not that one, but this. So this move is 16 frames. But I I noticed one thing about this move is that this move has a a low hit box. I try to like crouch jab when I uh, see him do this, and I still get hit. Okay, no. Nah. She won't even fuck me. So, okay. I don't, I don't think you can do it right away. You probably have to wait. But the last one felt like I did it right away. So it doesn't have a mid hit box. It's just that it, it wouldn't uh, allow her to start up her attack. So cause you're going to use this move a lot. But it's 16 frames, so if you if you like stay active with moves like this, you probably will be able to, uh, you know, stop them. Another move, this this right here. You're gonna see Kazuya do this, despite the fact that you know people say a lot of beginners use this. This move is is quite the setup. 
So if Call of Duty were to just do this, you're gonna twitch because you're gonna expect the low to come. So once you do this, either the parry or block, you're gonna stand back up, and this is what Call is gonna hit you with another low. Okay, was it in Tekken Revolution I have to press down for it to do this? Or what up? But uh So if he gets you to parry this or duck block it a lot, he's gonna start with this. Uh, come on. I can't even do it fast enough. Look at this. Well, you get what I'm uh, getting at. Mm. What else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, I don't see people use this move. But this is probably one of the greatest will punish you from a distance that he has. I mean, he got a respectable mid-range game, so. <clears throat> it launches. Wait a second. <clears throat> uh, uh, I've I never seen uh, Kazuya players throw this move out, but I throw it out when I use them. So this, I'm not going to say this is not something you want to not look out for, but I'll be lying if I uh, say not to look out for this move. Let me uh, look at the frames for it. Is it safe? Because I doubt it is. Okay, this move is large punishable, so it is best that cause you to do it from back here. Oh, from Will. The Fina can get a down forward two off of it, but not a hop kick. Uh, <clears throat> what else? Oh yeah, this this thing. How do I do that? Okay, so this last punch here. You can't neutral guard this last punch. You have to hold back to block. And I know a lot of college players will get you up against the wall and and abuse this just to get a wall splat if they could. But if you don't have that uh that blocking down you're probably not going to ever um, get out of it. Ah, come on in. So if you don't know how to block uh, this punch in a in an online match, because it's probably, I think it's harder online to uh, block this string. So most people will uh, go for the low pair. So, for those that go for the low pairs, beware that this move might come. They'll throw this, not that. They'll throw this out and then uh, this. I don't know why, I mean, I wouldn't go with this because this is the move I want to use to counter hit. Uh, another move is this right here. This is a mid mid. I don't think it's in a replica. But I know for sure that uh, if your back is up against the wall, Kazi is going to throw this move out no problem. Because they know you're going to duck once you, uh, you know, rise up off the ground. Is it safe? Let me see. Back four. Uh, It's jab punishable, but let's see if it uh, gives it any pushback offline.
Okay. He's not interruptible. He looks like he tracks. So it's uh, punishable, he's punishable by jail. Okay, um, <clears throat> what else, what else, oh yeah, this move, <clears throat> this is probably the, the greatest stun the game calls you has. I know with the perfect uh, 13 frame uppercut, he can get a, a, a high pop-up. <clears throat> and that's going to be something I'm going to work with. Because I, I remember seeing colleges do this and then it pops them in the air. I mean, higher than what I'm doing. So... <clears throat> Okay, so a lot of times, Kazu is going to look for this, especially since most of the female strings are mostly high. So you can basically set up Kazu for that attack, probably doing moves like this or this. <clears throat> but mostly, I think the easiest way to get Kazu to use that move is to throw this move out. So after uh, Zafina throws this out and Kazuya goes for that gut punch, you can launch him with this because this move is not punishable. So you might want to try to throw in some setup of your own. Try to try to bait him to you know throw out that gut punch so you can launch him. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Okay, this. Not a lot of Kazuya players are going to mess up on this, but just in case Kazuya do, this string is large punishable. So Kazuya shouldn't be doing this outside of uh, the punishing game. If he try to poke with this, most likely he's going to try to hit confirm it. <clears throat> okay, uh... Mm, what else? Okay, notice this move puts him in crouch. So if he probably whiffed this move... You probably would, you probably would still be able to uh, get a hit. I'm going to try it anyway. I don't think it's faster than Army King's uh, while expanding to. Okay, so if you block this move, you're already in crouch. So if you block it, just push down forward three. Oh, wait a minute, she stood up. I wonder what Wild Rising 2 would beat it. Okay, Wild Rising 2 would beat it. While standing one would not. Ooh. There we go. Oh crap. Oh. 
Okay. <clears throat> Let's try something else. Wait a minute. <clears throat> what am I doing here? How fast is this thing? Okay, so she won't be able to do anything slower than this. If he's going for the uh, twin pistons. Okay, that won't work. You can sidestep. But I think that uh that gut punch tracks, so if you're anticipating this and you're right, then go ahead. But half the time you won't be right. Cause that gut punch will uh track you. Okay, let's go with the devil. Now, the devil, he has an additional move. I think this move right here is large punishable. Uh, I'm going to check that out later. And he gets a standing twin piston. I don't know how fast it is. Probably 16. Pro it, it has to be 16. So, Kazuya is going to have to bound a lot different in Devil Gene. So probably with this move or this. It's probably the most common move that you're gonna see him bind with. Uh, oh come on. Probably can tag him out with it. Uh, what else he has? What else he has? Oh yeah, this. Usually when Kazuya do this, I mean when he get into this uh, form, I'm expecting him to use his laser when he expects me to tag me tag out. So if he has me like knocked down from this distance. I'm probably going to like stay on the floor to see he's going to use that laser. Uh, oh yeah, Kazuya, well Devil Kazuya has the best uh, air laser. The one he does this, no not this, the other one. How do I, how do I switch sides? Hold up. Oh, there we go. Okay, this this is probably the best because I don't think Angel or Devil Jean can uh, turn around that fast and then shoot the laser. I think there's a lot slower. I've actually seen a guy uh, he was like, who was this guy? Was it a uh, knee? I've seen uh, Devil Kazuya escape Elisa's uh, while running uh, two and nailed her up against the wall with that laser. 
So if people say this move is not useful, uh, I I think they'll be wrong. <laughs> uh, wait a second. <clears throat> okay, he's on both sides. Okay, uh, it de probably depends on what you're anticipating. But if you're just doing it just to be doing it, then uh, yeah, it probably wouldn't be useful. But if you're anticipating a certain ru uh, running attack, this move can probably counter it. Mm. Look up the uh, the knee versus Chanel video where he uh, I think he used Kazuya and somebody else against Elisa and probably JC JC and Elisa. Uh, what else did we cause your hands? Okay, probably nothing else. Uh. Wait, do we even have the uh hell gate? <clears throat> What else? What else? What else? Okay, this move right here. You're gonna play against a lot of bad Kazuya players. When they get desperate, they will finish it. But when they do, you can launch punish this uh, last kick. I think it's 16 frames <coughs> on block. So if you block it, you can launch him. <coughs> what else? What else? What else? Oh yeah, this this string right here. For some for some strange reason, I'm a lot vulnerable to that string because I really don't duck or try to carry that kick, even though I know it's gonna come out. So, uh, if you manage to get hit by the kick and but still block the uh, the last kick. Cause you're might gonna try to uh, throw this move out. I think I've seen this done by a lot of Kazuya players for me not to expect that move to come. Oh, you can still throw out a jab. So I think the jab is probably uh, the best thing for you to throw out because probably anything slower you're going to get hit, counter hit. Oh, wait a minute, 13 frames can stop it. And this move is a high. Okay, so anything 14 and slower is going to get hit. Yeah, it trades with 14. Or it doesn't. Uh, it, it doesn't trade with 14. Probably trade with 15. She don't have a 15 frame attack, so... What other 14, 15 frame attack he has? I'm not sure what frame is this, uh, put it down for it two is, down for it two is 14 frames, so, what 15 frame attack? Uh, cause your hair. Down forward one. I thought down forward one was uh, 16. Okay, yeah, so he trades with 15. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, 
Okay. That move was 16 frames. Uh, but you won't be able to finish your launching. So he trade with 16 frames. So Kaza is going to have to uh, tick after that. Why did I even bother to side still? Oh, counter hit. Oh, that was a punish. <clears throat> mm. <clears throat> I guess we can uh, start scrolling down. Is it two one four? No, that's three one four. Okay. They're probably gonna use this three one. On hit he's at plus seven, but on block he's at negative one. So uh, so the fastest thing you can uh, pretty much stop his next attack is a jab. Well, depending on what he does next, because most likely he might uh, he might throw this out just to uh, stop your jab. Uh, This is what his magic pool looks like. I think this move uh, gives him a guaranteed uh, hell sweep. Tech rolling.
Hmm. Okay. Okay, this punch here has a uh, a punch period. I don't think um, this is gonna be a move that you wanna, you know, just do just for the uh, the punch period. Cause I think the timing is really, really, really strict. Cause it, it's it's rare that I can get that uh thing to parry punches, but this is what it looks like if it do uh parry. This is probably not the punch, or oh, it probably doesn't uh, punch carries anymore. This is a knockdown tool, so like if Kazu gets you on the ground, I probably just stand up and not do a wake up attack because this move will counter hit you for a combo. I think it works like uh, the Nina and June kick. I thought it was a uh, combo. So, may maybe I don't know how to combo uh, out of it. Okay, four is four. I think this move gives him frame advantage. Let me look. He got so many axe kicks. You're bound to uh, not know which one gives frame advantage. Forward four, okay. Forward four gives him plus three on block. And you'll be crouching. So, let's see how Zafina can defend against it. Other than just blocking. Usually moves that give frame advantage and puts them at crouching, they can fight out of it. Uh, How fast is back to 14? That's not fast enough. I'm gonna need a we have a 13 frame lead. Down for the fourth. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I think this is all you can do. But if you are about to die, as well as cause you, I wouldn't throw this uh, kick out. He's in frame advantage, but 
this is an instant wild uh, standing attack. So let's see, can you go underneath that mid? Nope, you can't. Well, not with down four three. Not with down four. I mean, not without rising two. So you're probably gonna have to be trading hits if you can afford to trade hits with Kazi. I'm not gonna say that Kazi is a much better character and he's gonna win this matchup at all times because I've I've seen a video where this Lily and the Fina player went ham on this Heihachi and Kazi. So I mean, this is not just some ordinary Kazuya player. I mean, he's one of those wave dashing electric Kazuya players. So, looking at you know that match, kind of gave me a, a sense that Zafina can uh, win a match against Kazuya. Mm. Well, it, it wasn't just one match. It was like one of those thirty-minute. Uh, Taking videos where they pick the same characters over and over. What, what am I doing? I I downloaded that video. I have to look for it. It's somewhere in my external hard drive. Oh, this move has an extension. I forgot about that. Uh, if he extends this attack. How safe would he be? Or punishable? Okay, it's, pun it's still punishable, but I think the thing is going to get a, a 13 frame attack after it. It's 13 frame punishable. Down for is one. It's safe. This move, if you manage to block this, he's in frame advantage. So let's try this. I think the Phoenix will eat him alive. Hold up. Let, let me try a me. not just track her. They just tracked her. Are you kidding me? Oh, I can out jab him. So we can stop it. So basically you just throw a jab out if you know how to uh, get your jab, uh, you know, to come out. Oh crap, that mid kick. Remember, it's like playing rock, scissors, or paper. Highs beat mid, mid beats lows, and lows crush highs. Well, most lows doesn't really crush highs, just some. Uh, 
was next. Okay. I think. Yeah, they they're gonna throw this launcher out a lot. Uh, you can combo off with it. Well, they can combo off with it. It probably looks something like this. Or probably this. It's mid-high, so this is one of the highs that um, you probably be able to crouch under and attack easily. Unlike uh, uh, this one, you're going to have a hard time. I think this move hit grounded. Hold on, let me check. I thought it hit grounded. Let me see. Down four three. This move is plus seven on block. So after this move, Cog will probably want to sidestep because pretty much anything can beat him out after this move. So this move has an extension, but they really don't finish that though. I wonder why. They're down four, three, two. Okay, that is punishable by eleven. I think it has a third extension, and that's not punishable at nineteen. Okay, down forward four. Okay, down forward four is a setup move. This is, down forward four is not a poke tool. So after down forward four, Kazuya can't throw another attack. I don't think Kazuya can sidestep afterwards. But down forward four four is punishable on hit. So. The Fina would get a down forward uh, three string or a forward four. So the Fina can get a knockdown, but not a launcher. Uh, that that's uh, if he does both kicks. So you might need a partner with a 14 frame launcher or a 15 frame launcher to punish it. But the first kick alone, Kazi is going to have to throw this move out when he's uh, expecting to get a hit, but not a block. So this move going to be plus two on hit. Hmm. I did not even know Kazi had this move. Okay, this move is 15 frame punishable, so the thing is Gonna have to be quick with her while rising one two. Down back two. Looks like it. So this move puts him at zero. On block, it puts him at zero. A little further, puts him at frame advantage. 
I think uh, up close zero, a little far back, uh, plus one. Hold up. Okay, this pop, this gonna be zero. So probably right here. Yeah, probably right here. I think this low is safe. No, it's it's about rising uh four punishable. Uh down is it down four? No, it's down back. I I keep getting here and mixed up with Anna. Uh let's see. I'm looking at down back four. Okay, this wild rising four punishable as well. If you block it. But if this move hits you, you might want to crouch. Because he's only at plus two on hit. But don't do too much crouching when his uh, kick connects because Cosby will catch on. Okay, here's his 11 frame punisher. Okay, so back one, two is 14 on block. So Cosby shouldn't be ab abusing this move. But what he will do is try to bait you into, uh, try to punish the uh, first attack. Okay, this move. I think this move is a counter hit move, so I think it's probably a great counter hit move because he'll, he'll probably do something that gives him frame advantage and then throw this move out. Or probably uh, not even frame advantage, probably something safe, probably like plus three maybe, not plus three, a negative three, and he'll throw this move out and get a counter hit. And a counter hit, he will get a launch. Yeah. push uh, that move twice. I mean push that button twice. I thought I had to push forward. Is that move uh, punishable? Let me check. Now four, three, two. That move is 13 frame punishable. Okay, four, four, two. I forgot about that move. That move is punishable by 13 frames. That move is large punishment. I don't even think I have to look at the frame data to repeat it. Let me see, crash dash one. Dang. Zapina won't be able to launch this move. This launch punishable, but Zapina can't launch it. Wait. But that move do have some extension though. Okay, side step two. That got, that must. Yep. That move is not punishable. Even Steve Fox can launch it. This move is negative twenty-two.
Okay, here we go. <clears throat> I remember in Tekken 6, the command for this move was a lot different. It is up back, now it's up forward. Kind of strange. Up forward, two square. If I can find it. There we go. <clears throat> He can cancel this uh, attack. It's cancelable. I think, hold on. There we go. He can't really do uh, anything right away after uh, canceling it. Even I'm trying to uh, go out the loud rising too. But he can't throw this out right away. Alright. Next move. <clears throat> okay, this this is a move that Kazu will try to beat you out with uh for a wall stat like if you're on the ground and he anticipating you doing a get up low of any kind he will use this move to wall stat you okay forward forward two i'm not gonna say you're gonna anticipate this move because they rarely use this move but the ones you see using it uh, in a pattern, you know what to do to uh, counter hit this move. Four, four, three. Okay, so this move doesn't give him frame advantage, even though it should, since you have to uh, dash to do it. <clears throat> it's negative three on block, and most likely it'll put you in crouch. Okay, that is not punishable. I think we already established it. But does it, uh... Hold up. Yeah, it's the same. I usually get hit by the uh, punch and not the uh, sweep. Cause usually, I don't know what makes me duck when they throw this move out. Uh, I don't even see the uh, second four. Oh, he probably can't, uh, yes he can, there's a command list right there. He can miss step in two, but it's not in the frame chart. Well, I thought the second kick would be a little safer, but I guess not. It's still 27 on block. Okay, that is Nosh punishable by 14. So if you have Lars or Genpachi on your team, it'll be easier to get it with them. Okay, and the sweep is 14 on block. So, unless your character is Zeus, you're not gonna get a Nosh punishment. Nosh punishment. Okay. Now we're to wild rising. Now I gotta scroll back up. Mm. Okay, the twin piston is 13 frames punishable. 
the first is not is three is negative three while rising two is eighteen frame punishable. Uh, that, that might I'm not gonna say this movie is useless. It just looks that way. But I know most time when people push you in full crowd, they'll sidestep. And this move tracks, so like I said, you have to study your opponent's habits. Well, yeah. Okay, I think people are brave enough to throw this move out, so I want to see why would they want to throw this out. Okay, it's not punishable. Well, it is punishable, but only by 11. It's not, it's not a low attack. It still puts you in crouch. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. Okay, size step three. Am I correct? Okay, this move is 11 on block. What's next? It's kind of like Steve Fox did a uh, sidestep punch. I wonder where three attack he gets with that. Okay. Um, block. It's safe. It should be safe since it's a high. Uh, what's next? Okay, I think that uh, that Anna William uh, kick will be next after this uh, grail. I want to do a hit grounded. Okay, so what can he do? Okay, this is probably good for a wall flat. I don't know if he'll be able to get a full combo. Mm. Mm. Okay, I think that's about it. So remember not to do anything reckless against Kazuya. Uh, try to bait him into throwing out something even punishable, even more punishable. And I guess I'll think of another easier mission to uh, do a video on, probably Jim Pacha. I think he's the first easiest mission. Okay.
See you later.